Hello everyone, my name is Eric and welcome to Leisure Suit Larry 5, Passionate Patty Does a Little Undercover Work. Well, some might actually ask right now, why aren't I playing the fourth installment of this game? And the answer is quite simple, it doesn't exist. Is that simple actually, guys? Why doesn't it exist? Well, can't really say 100%, but it's kind of a in-joke that the first three games were the perfect trilogy with a, with a happy ending. Uh, others, there is a little bit of a talk about the fact that uh, the fourth game got cancelled due to technical difficulties and the development crew didn't want to finish it. And also at the same time it was kind of a big joke that we don't do number four but we go on to number five and some reasons for number four being lost is actually part, a little bit of a part of the story in this game. And there are references to uh, number four in other Sierra games, amongst other Space Quest uh, 4, I think it was, where Vohal infected the main computer by posing as the Lost Floppies, Vicious with Larry for the Lost Floppies. But never mind that, let's watch the intro. An East Coast meeting is not going too well. As you know, ever since LP came out back in the 50s, our recording industry's subliminal message campaign, Just Do Drugs, has been res a resounding success. So now, do I have to click to... no. Drug sales have never been better, and prices remain firm as this slide shows. Discounting our disastrous push to quadraphonic results have been most gratifying. Now to you, Bruno. Thanks, Vinny. Boss, as you know, our pornography division also enjoyed a period of explosive growth as this slide, sh slide shows. Unfortunately, after a quarter century of positive ROI, recent results have been flaccid. We attempted to counter this trend with a heavy investment in rap music, thinking teenagers' continuous exposure to pornographic lyrics would help sales of our wider product line. But the result is, result is obvious. Painfully declining penetration. Mm. Says the bad guy. Our market research failed to foresee the widespread growth of cable. Even when we forced through rapidly reduced VCR prices in the early 80s, it just didn't help our X-rated movie sales. No one buys them. Why would they, when they can use their remote controls to flip through channel after channel of almost the same stuff in the comfort of their own homes? Now, even the networks are getting into the act. Oh, I understand the problem, but I want a solution! My god, those red eyes. Six months later, and a continent away, another board director's meeting. Okay, Bibi, and so, a corporate yes man continues, I'm pleased to say our contest to find the sexiest woman in America to serve as the hostess of America's Sexiest Home Videos has been a resounding success. Wow, that's a sleazy guy. 
The characters portrayed by our hostess, whom we've decided to name Yana Black, will be one exceptional woman. Uh, we've searched for a woman beautiful, yet with those all-American girl-next-door looks. A woman virginal and untouchable, and yet a woman who is sexy and slutty. I have a hard time believing they would say this in a boardroom, but yeah. We've received thousands of submissions and, thanks to hard work by my, me and my colleagues, narrowed the field down to three finalists. I intend to have these women flown here, first class, wined and dined in real style, then outfitted with the finest fashions Rodeo Drive has to offer. They'll want for nothing, and on the morning of the auditions, champagne baths for all. I've arranged national press coverage, of course. In short, everything is proceeding according to schedule. There is a polite smattering of applause from the other lackeys around the conference table. This is a weird conference table. Yes, sir, Mr. Scrummel. Uh, ah, Screwmole. Screwmole. Haha, <laughs> I get it. But we're looking for a woman, so oversex she'd drop what she's doing for any man, any time, any place, and for any loser, any dork, no matter how lame. We missed something at the beginning there. All this conversation. Yes, sir, Mrs. Screwmall. Isn't that what we wanted, Mr. Screwmall? Bravo! I like the, the names for them. I've changed my mind. Now I think we should hold a blind audition. Where the women don't do know they're being auditioned. Ooh. Yes, sir. Everybody's yesing. Bravo! But, with all due respect, Mr. Scrumall, that's impossible. We need videotapes of their auditions for our own um, personal review purposes. There's no way we could follow the guy around without her seeing us. Well, yes, we do need those tapes to review, but what if we could find an auditioner, auditioner so inept, so sexless, so lame, so unappealing, that it would be take the sexiest woman in America to find him attractive? Well, cue Larry Lapper, I guess. But still, uh, er, Mrs. Scrumall, how will we ever find somebody so lame? I believe that Larry is sitting right there. No, maybe? Coffee! Oh my, they want some coffee, and we're in the game! That's the entire thing, that's the entire coffee. opening. Yeah, 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 you want coffee. Uh, let's see now, this is the coffee machine, I guess. You grab the pot from the warmer and head for Mr. Screwmall's office. Eager to once again kiss up to the boss. I thought that was Larry, actually. Hi, guys, you say cheerfully. So, who want a Java? You may begin with me, boy. So, you decide to do exactly that. <laughs> Here you go, Mrs. Screwmall. You say with your best suck-up tone of voice. May I freshen that for you? Yow! Oh, that's painful. Oh, you clumsy idiot! What an old! Who hired this fool? Sexy women? Why even the sexiest woman in America wouldn't? And epiphany time. Hey, wait a minute, wait just a minute. Mmm, says Silas, thinking fast and furiously. Um, say, buddy, a nice Alicia suit? 
I'm sure I know you, uh, but what exactly is your name? Why, my name is Larry. Larry Laffer, you reply. I'm not doing the giggle right now, but yeah. How quaint, he grumbles. Your first and middle names are exactly the same. Well, never mind about that. I have a proposal I'd like to make to you, Daffer. Now, here's the deal. You see, Lofner, I've got to find a hostess for our new television show. Yes, I know, you offer proudly. I'm the chief tape rewinder and sterilizer on this project. You conveniently neglect to mention the Betamax division portion of your job description. Ah, oh, Betamax, the long lost tape. And a fine job you're doing, I suppose. Well, Larcher, we've used those audition tapes to narrow the field down to three finalists. But we're, um, it's almost too uh, busy to hold the auditions here. So I want you to visit them in their uh, home environments. See them in their natural habitats, so to speak. Catch them or natural, if you can. You understand many of the words in the last sentence. <laughs> you do know how to audition girls, don't you, loafer? What? Audition three women? No problem, boss. I'm your guy. Why, it's like a dream come true. In fact, it's like several of your dreams come true. When those babes find out why you're visiting, they'll fall all over you. Not that you mind, of course. Anything for your company. But, Lona, if you tell them who you are or of your powerful position here at the PPC, it could easily invalidate the data. We want to see their reactions to a nice, normal guy like you, Lenny. I must be certain you don't take advantage of the situation. So, take this. Wow, Mr. Scrummall, Scrum you say, unable to contain your excitement. I can always use another pocket protector. Mine's getting really vintage. <laughs> nice one. Lipper, you fool. This is no ordinary pocket protector. It's a brand new imported miniaturized 0.5 Lux Robe Low model complete video studio. Merely disguised as some dwarf's pocket protector. I knew that, you pretend. The foolish grin too. You must never let a client suspect you are filming them or that you represent the show. They must each think of you only as a plain Larry, Larry Limper. I can handle it, sir, you say excitedly. Ooh. I hope so. If you can pull this off, Lipper, I promise you a really big promotion. Perhaps even an to assistant associate director. What do you think of that? You think, wow, this could be the big break I've been hoping for. I promise to give it everything I've got. Good. I really want you to take charge, Larry. Take whatever you need from here in the office. You're really on your own. I'll look forward to you personally viewing those audition tapes when you return. But remember, because this little guy is such a new model, and because it's so tiny, its recording time and battery life are severely limited. Be sure you recharge after every girl.
<laughs> Always a good idea, you think. Okay, Wookner, if you've got one, maybe two days max, you better grab the girl's bios and get going. What a dream assignment! Travel across the United States, visiting three of the sexiest women in America, and you get paid for doing it. Larry, it looks like things are really beginning to go your way. Of course, something makes you think you've had that thought before. Uh... An ounce of prevention if you would like to use a password to protect this game. Select password. Why bother? No. Would you like to restore a game? No. There we go. So that's the beginning of the game. And also there's some changes. Now we have, instead of the parser, we have point and click. Finally proper point and click. So we have the different icons. Port look, use, talk, and unzip your pants. Yeah, because this is like Leisure Suit Larry. You need to be able to unzip your pants. The water cooler is the office equipment with which you're most familiar. Well, let's, let's get something to drink. You get a refreshing drink of bottled tap water. And that bling-a-ling, we got a point out of that. Where am I, you wonder? What's happened to me? What am I doing here? And that's pointing out... The last you remember, you were writing your life story as a computer game, sitting on a deck with a half-naked woman overlooking a beautiful lake nestled high in the Sierra Nevada. And that's the point, this is the undergoing story of the game. Larry has amnesia. He can't remember what the hell has happened. Or where he is, and he can't remember Patty either. Is that the radio? Your trusty Strombug Carlton 8-track cartridge tape player rests on your workbench. Although lately you've had trouble finding new cartridges, it still really belts out the tunes. Well, 8-tracks, and then you had cassette tapes, and then CDs, and then MP3s and everything. So, there's some music we can change to. Let's see. Um, no. Let's try again. Now, let's let it, it go like have the normal background noise. <clears throat> uh, let's, uh, let's open the drawer. <sighs> Come on, stop touching yourself, Larry. The left drawer, I think it's here. Well, well, what's this? So that's where you left your battery recharger. Because we need that. You take it from the drawer and pop it into your never-ending pockets. <laughs> um, let's know. Let's see if we can use this. And VHS tapes. Oh my god, that's so long ago. You quickly rinse your hands with sterilizing solution. You rather enjoy it. Although, for the life of you, you don't know why. Well, that's a good question. There are three tapes here that we need. You always wondered what these tiny little tapes were. These miniature videotapes are perfect fit for your new camcorder. Exactly. <laughs> and you thought they were that something something. I didn't have a look. Let's use it on the degausser. These tapes only fit into the pocket protector camcorder. Um, is it this thing? Well, we have to look around. You use this monitor every day to preview the incoming submissions, making sure they're explicit enough to pass on to the official members of the submission team. Yep, it's the same thing here. Uh, that's the degrosser. Because we need to rinse out the tapes so we can uh, record all the sexy women we're going to meet in this pixelated paradise of Larry's. Sliding the switch to send rapidly alternating pulsating currents through your degausser, you essentially slide the girl's dedicated magnetic particles in slow concentric circles over the degausser, gradually increasing in speed and intensity until they and you are randomly aligned. 
A shudder passes through your body. My god, that's disgusting. Let's see now. We should say the ghost. And it's the same there. So we need to de this one and the third one. And this one. I remember a woman named Patty something about an island and, and a gig as a computer game programmer? I think, what's going on? How did I end up in Hollywood and what am I supposed to be doing here? You sigh. I'm so confused. Of course, you're quite accustomed to being confused. There we go. We have done everything we need here, I think, so I think that's it. We can leave. Because we're working on this project. Evidently, this company is the home of America's Sexiest Home Videos. You've heard of that show, especially since you work here. Precisely. Is that? Are those boobies? I hope not. Well, they look like boobies, so I guess they are. Presented to Porn Prod Corp for their humanitarian efforts in the field of free speech and the commercial development of the steel reinforced videotape. March 10th, 1976. Wow, a genuine titty award. Uh, we'll need to go into this office too. Aha! Uh -huh. And there's some pixelated stuff going on in here that I'm not going to comment on. See, an exclusive Aerodork Airlines gold card. Rest in the credit card imprinter. Probably just someone racking up a few charges on the old company dole. We're going to need that. Because we're going to travel all over the US. Assuming that your recent promotion now authorizes such extravagance, you remove the luxurious Aerodork gold card from the credit card imprinter. Oh my god, I have to <laughs> talk so much. I need a sip of water. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see now. We'll have a look in the filing cabinet. I think it's this one over here. You start to open the drawer. You read the label and decide this is not the drawer you're looking for. Maybe this one? You take the three resumes from the drawer. Now, let's have a look at the different resumes. Michelle Milken's resume. Made. Michelle Milken, 28, black hair, brown eyes, height 6 foot 1. Wow, she's tall. Occupation, junk bond sales, walls, hangouts, Wall Street, computer stores, turn-offs, anything covered with whipped cream, <laughs> turn off strong moral fiber. Inside the folder you find a napkin. So these are the hints where to go. If a computers are in your life, grab a quick bite in our cafe, in the heart of the fabulous Times Square wine country. Okay, I thought wine country was in California, not New York. Lana Lush's resume. Lana, 21, blonde, blue eyes, 5'10", very thin. Professional mud wrestler, former Miss Wet T-shirt of Atlantic City. Hangouts, tramps, boardwalk. Turnoffs, polyurethane, mud, turnoffs, high IQs. You find a matchbook. You see Beautiful Tramp Casino on the Beautiful Tramp Boardwalk outside the luxurious Tramp Hotel near the palatial Tramp Overscale Miniature Golf Course right off Filthy Tramp Beach, 77 High Roller Drive, Atlantic City. Chichi Lam Lambada. 24, raven hair, chestnut eyes, 5'8". Dental hygienist and former gymnast, hangs out at the gym and the office. Turn-offs, locker room odor and dental irrigators. Turn-offs, burning rubber. Find a business card. Doc Polyam's card. Can Doc fix him? Nope, but Doc... But can Doc Polyam... Doc Polyam's dental hygiene heaven in Miami. Our motto, beats the doorknob and the string. Brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. That's it, we found everything we need here in the office, which means that we're going 
to the airport. Come on. Can you leave, Larry? Whoa. My bad. Completed outside the screen there by accident. Over here. There we go. Can't see the exit. It's so 90s decoration. The decor. Come on. Larry, for the love of everything that is holy, can you leave the screen? I can't seem to... There. It needed to be exactly on the pixel. And what am I doing in Larry 5, you think? And whatever happened to Larry 4? Slowly, you come to the realization that you must be suffering from amnesia. Although how a computer game character can get amnesia, you do not understand. You remember her. She's Porn Prod Corp's founding mother, Chesty Turbo. And here's the limo. So we're going to the airport. And in the next episode... Uh, in the next episode, we're going to fly... And we're going to check out what's going to happen next. Uh, I love the fish there. <laughs> the really bobbly eye goldfish thing, whatever it is. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you liked what you saw, do leave a like and a comment. But for now, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys later.